Welcome to Talk and Text, updates from the U.S. Mobile Blog. What is an eSIM card? How will it impact you? If you used a cell phone in the last 30 years, you've undoubtedly encountered a SIM card. It's a chip that tells your device which carrier, network, and phone number to use for cellular service. SIMs are now coming embedded inside smartphones in a reprogrammable microchip called eSIM. This new technology offers game-changing potential for the Internet of Things industry, plus powerful user experience improvements for the everyday wireless customer. So how can it work for you? What is an eSIM? eSIM stands for Embedded Subscriber Identity Module. Since 1991, SIM cards have been used to connect customers to their wireless carriers. The 17-digit code on the card identifies the country or region where the service works, the connected network, and a unique customer ID. eSIM offers a new way to load carrier information onto your phone without using an external physical chip. Technically, an eSIM is a physical part. It's a microchip embedded inside of your smartphone. This component can download carrier data remotely, enabling you to switch carriers on the spot. If your phone has a physical SIM tray and an eSIM, you can actively use multiple lines at the same time. Toggling different carriers on and off can be accomplished easily with the press of a button in your phone settings. That covers the basic functionality. Beyond the simple use of keeping connected to the wireless network, there's huge potential for unique applications that will help streamline consumer and business connectivity practices. Why eSIM? We are headed toward a more collectively connected society through the use of internet-enabled devices. Between wearables, automobiles, security systems, and industrial tech, the number of connected devices we're buying is increasing every year, and we expect these devices to start working with minimal setup right out of the box. The invisible nature of eSIM creates a seamless experience for getting devices configured and connected. There's no need to fumble around and try to organize small plastic chips. Activation is instant and doesn't require any physical keys. Managing your lines or switching between plans and carriers can be done remotely without any hassle. The impact grows massively as we consider the scalability of eSIM adoption across all connected devices. Powerful use cases. Customers. Easily activate a free trial to test out a new carrier in an instant. No need to visit a retail store or wait several hours for a data transfer. Switch between your business and personal phone number with a tap, or use both simultaneously. Activate wireless service on all your products, be it a Tesla or a drone, without having to mess with multiple plastic SIM cards. Travelers can remain connected around the world by activating a fairly priced eSIM plan from a local carrier in the country they're visiting. Businesses. Account managers or IT personnel can remotely activate or adjust cellular plans on thousands of devices at once. Increase the longevity of connected machines and reduce maintenance costs by using eSIM to remotely update wireless plans at the end of a telco contract. Decrease costs and boost the efficiency of logistics operations by remotely managing tracker devices on global shipments and foregoing swapping out SIM cards. Distribute devices with eSIM to automatically connect to the proper telco upon first boot up based on factors programmed during manufacturing. Using an eSIM or a physical SIM. Debating on how to activate your cellular service? Here's a breakdown of the differences between using a physical SIM and an eSIM. Time saving and ease of use are some of the most impactful considerations to make before choosing an activation method. Here's what you should expect. Activating a physical SIM plan. 1. Research and purchase a plan online or at a retail store. 2. Carrier gives you a SIM card with their network-specific information stored on it. 3. Insert the SIM in your phone. 4. The phone uses the data stored on the SIM card to connect to the network. Activating an eSIM plan. 1. Research and purchase a plan online. 2. Carrier shares a voucher with a QR code to instantly activate. 3. Instant activation by scanning QR code. 4. The provisioning system sends a SIM profile to the eSIM embedded inside the phone and the service begins working. Simply put, activating with eSIM can save you an hours-long trip to the mall or waiting multiple days for delivery. Once installed, the eSIM will function exactly like a traditional physical card, with one awesome bonus perk. 
eSIMs can store data from multiple carriers, so if you want to switch between multiple phone lines, you can access and toggle them all from your phone settings. So long as your phone is unlocked, you'll be good to go with any phone plan you want. Using eSIM for international roaming. Relax, you're on vacation. We've engineered incredible solutions to reduce stress around keeping you connected while abroad. No more searching for the cheapest international data, trying and failing to understand what you're signing up for at the merchant kiosk of a foreign airport, misplacing your American SIM, or returning home to surprise roaming charges. U.S. Mobile will keep you connected with a few taps. Simply choose your destination, talk, text, and data allotment, and just like that, you'll have service when you touch down at your destination. Manage your lines and track your balance with ease from the U.S. Mobile app. The next iteration of SIM has arrived, and it's taking the industry by storm. Already, the new Motorola Razr exclusively supports eSIM, meaning you couldn't use a physical card if you wanted to. Expect to see the widespread implementation of eSIM across phones, tablets, and everything in between in the coming years. If you'd like to give eSIM activation a try, we're offering you a 10-day free trial. No commitments, no questions asked. Will you be sporting eSIM on your next device? Or are you holding out on a physical SIM card for as long as possible? Anthony Cinco for U.S. Mobile. For more, subscribe to the podcast or check us out at usmobile.com slash blog.